okay uh, good morning one and all in the previous session we discussed about uh, regular language and regular expressions applications as well as we started discussion on uh, one kind of uh, computational model is nothing but the finite automata so in that we discuss about the definition of the finite automata what is the finite automata and etc as part so finite automata is nothing but uh, <coughs> It is a five tuple machine. In that the five tuple machine, first tuple is nothing but a capital Q. Capital Q stands for finite state of states. Then second is a summation is nothing but finite input alphabets. Then Q zero is nothing but our starting state or initial state. Capital A stands for your subset of Q and it is the acceptance state. So we call it the final state. And one last uh, component is nothing but delta. Delta stands for a transition function. Or transition of one state to other state or remains in that state by using the set of alphabets. So this is few component which is required for the discussion of finite automata. Also, we discuss how we represent the finite automata uh, by using the two ways. First is transition diagram, then second is transition table. So transition diagram we diagrammatically represent it our finite automata. For that, uh, circle represents the states. Circle before arrow represents the starting state. Double circle with the arrow uh, we represent by final state or acceptance state and the transition from one state to other state we represent likewise yeah? also we discuss the transition table means how we uh, represent our parameter data by using the transition table and etc also we discuss one example uh, means how we design the finite automata we call it how we uh, recognize the strings of the given problem statement by using um, our design for that purpose, we have to uh, draw a finite automata. We call it, we have to design the one kind of a machine that machine we uh, name is a finite automata. Okay, so let me discuss further concept which is also related to our uh, problematic part here. Means we have to design uh, the finite automata, recognize the strings of the given problem statement here. So we follow the step as usual. Means first we have to take uh, input alphabets as well as then we have to find its regular language according to regular language we have to uh, construct the regular expression and after that we have to uh, draw a uh, uh, drawing a design of our finite automata by using the notations okay so let me start the first example is nothing but the strings ending in one so previous example we discussed about the string ending in zero so same way we have to discuss how we design the strings ending in one strings uh, finite automata. So for that first I have to select uh, means alphabet here. So which are the alphabet now? Here is the summation. Summation is nothing but set of alphabets. Set of alphabets is uh, here is a zero as well as the one here because strings ending in one means we have to take alpha set of alphabets as five and zero. Uh, sorry, uh, we have to take alphabets as a zero as well as one. Our second step is nothing but we have to construct the regular language of uh, given problem statement. Given problem statement is nothing but strings ending in one means each and every strings of our regular language should be end in one. Means the single one is our first string. Then 0 1 is also become our string here because each and every string should be in the in one starting doesn't matter either 0 1 or epsilon means 0 1 is also our string 1 1 is also string then epsilon 1 is also our string then 2 times 0 1 is also our string then 3 times 1 is also our string then 1 0 1 is also our string Likewise, set of a string is our regular language strings part here. Okay, but remember thing that each and every string end with one. So single one is our first string of our language. So how we simplify it? So this is a regular language. We have to simplify is likewise means string end with one. Starting is either zero, either one, or we call the combination of the 0 and 1 and that combination we have to represent by star part here. So how convert this regular language into regular expression? Simple. 
regular expression is likewise a regular expression which simply removes or replace that uh, curly bracket by round parenthesis this zero as it is we have to replace this comma by plus one as it is star also as it is and one also as it is so it is our regular expression this is our regular language for the given statement so after the finding the regular language and regular expression the next step is nothing but we have to design the uh, finite automata that finite automata will be recognized in the strings of the given language if we start in our starting state and after the reading each and every character of that string our machine stays in a final state then we call the st uh, string is recognized by that final automata if we are in between uh, mm, means we are in a state starting state or intermediate state then we simply we re uh, reject the given string means we call it is not part of our given regular language so shall we start yes so we have to start by starting state as our cube zero okay now we have to focus basic string in the our given language is basic string means what is the first string of our history, uh, language so it is the one means if single one is there then our machine will be in accepting state means we are in q0 state and for the q0 state we give input as one then our machine should be in q a state that q a state we replace in by double circle so double circle stands for here our uh, final state here okay so means we are in q0 state and for that q0 state we use input as one then our machine moves to another state and that another state will be our final state why it is because our basic criteria for accepting string is single one also okay so as usual we have to uh, check input for the given alphabets already we check for the q0 as one remains as a zero if i am in q0 state and zero we read and we move to next step means q a state then this transition will not be acceptable why right? is because we are in q0 state and there is a single zero then our string will accept then it is not part of our uh, language because each and every string with end with one so this transition is not allowed in our uh, discussion part here so what we do now so for zero purpose we have to remains in that state only means we are in q0 state and the input is our zero alphabet then we remains in that state only okay get it or not for the q0 state we check zero as well as the one now we got one new state as a QA. So for the QA also we have to check either 0 as well as 1. So we are in QA state and our input is 1. Then what we do? Means double 1 means we are in Q0 state and there is double 1 means 1. Don't be confused. Okay. There is 1 1. So 1 1 is string acceptable means we are in Q0 state. We read 1 then we transit to other state in QA state. And the QA state is our acceptable state. We are in QA state and we need another alphabet as a 1. Then we have to remain in that state because 1 is our ending part. So we stays in that state. Okay. So 1 is also over from our QA state. Remains only 0 part here. So what about 0 now? We are in QA state and we remains in that state only. Then what will be the then what uh, means mistake is going on? The strings ends with zero is also acceptable. Means here is one zero string there. We are in Q zero state. We read the first alphabet one. Then we transit for the QA in the QA state. If we read second alphabet zero, then we are staying here. So what we do for that here? So when we transit zero in that uh, means that single state, we have to move from that state to that state by using the zero means how it is so we have to remove this transition from here we have to simply move from the q0 state q a state to this q0 state by using zero okay <coughs> so 
In that we are not getting any new state here. And for each and every state, here is the two input alphabet already tested. So this part is now our finite automata of our respective problem statement here. Okay. So we have to test now. So consider the, the string one string. So this one string is acceptable or not we have to check here. So we are in starting state q0. In q0 we read one we go to other state and this other state is nothing but our QA state. So one is acceptable. What about 0 1? We are in Q0 state. We read first alphabet as a 0. We move and remains in the Q0 state. In the Q0 state we have to read another alphabet as a 1. After reading one alphabet we move to other state and that other state will be our final state. Means after the ending the after end of the reading state uh, reading uh, strings we are in final state that's why we call key 0 is also our uh, part of our string. What about 1 1? We are in Q0 state. We read the first alphabet 1 then we move from Q0 to QA state. In the QA state we read another character as a 1 then we have to remain in the state because our transition is same here only. After ending this Q1 uh, 1, 1 string where we? We are in final state that's why this 1 1 is also our part here. So consider there is a string like a 1 0. So this one zero string is either acceptable or not here. Let me check it. We are in Q0 state. We read the first alphabet one. We transit from the Q0 to QA state here. Okay. We are in QA state and our second alphabet is a zero. So for the zero, we uh, make a transition from QA to Q0 here. Yeah? So we are in Q0 state. Now our string is a and we are in Q0 state means we are not in accepting space. That's why we call this one zero string is rejected or uh, we call it is not recognized by the given our uh, final state machine okay so this is our valid uh, design we called uh, design of final automata and that final automata recognize the strings ending with one string here. so what is transition diagram so for the transition diagram q0 is our one state q1 is another state and the input alphabet is a 0 as well as the 1. So we have to make the table for the same. Okay. So we are in Q0 state. If we are given as a 0, then we got, uh, sorry, we in the Q0 state. So we have to put here Q0. So likewise, we have to check we are in Q0 and we use input as 1, then we move to the QA state, so here is the QA is becoming in this cell. We are in Q1 state and we give the input as a 0, then we move from QA to Q0, means here it becomes a Q0 and we are in Q, sorry, here is the QA state. For the QA state, we use 1 as input alphabet, then we remain in that cell, so means Q. So this is a table and the table is simple for the transition table here. So this is our transition diagram and this is our transition table. By using the transition diagram, we simply construct the transition table. So this is our first example. Uh, for that, we design a finite automata. So what about the second? Second example is nothing but strings ending with one one. Now strings ending with one. So as usual, step by step, we have to go. Summation is nothing but our input alphabets is 0 as well as 1. So, first step we have to construct the regular language, consider the strings, the regular language. But the condition each and every string should be end with 1 1. Starting doesn't matter, means either 0 or 1 or we call epsilon or the combinations of the zeros as well as one so such a string is a part of our regular language but the condition each and every string ending with one double one concatenated one one okay so how we simplify it is so each and every string is end with one one so starting is either zero either one or we call the combination of the zeros one and strings. So this is our regular language. 
simplification of our time. So what about regular expression now? So the regular expression simply we have to replace this curly brackets by round parenthesis 0 as it is this comma we have to replace by plus 1 as it is star and this one one as it is so it is our regular expression okay so next step is nothing but we have to design the finite automaton so we have to draw now transition diagram of the problem statement is still ending with 1 1 means the basic criteria is nothing but the single 1 1 is there then we call it our machine moves uh, our uh, machine is acceptable that string here so how it is possible so we have to start in our starting state as a q0 so we have to check the possibility for g1 minus 1 we have to take 1 because string ending with 1 1 so after the reading 1 our machine moves to other state and that other state is not now our final state it is q1 it is intermediate state because we are having concatenated one here not a single one so that's why after the reading the first one our machine moves from q the starting state to intermediate state as a q1 so we are in q1 state now okay so for that q1 also we have to check 0 as well as 1 so now i am taking here 1 here so after the reading 1 we move to other state and that other state will be our final state now so this is our basic structure after the reading 1 1 we are in accepting state here okay so this is our accepting state here now we are received our accepting state here. so now we have to check for each and every state 0 as well as 1 here. so let from the first q0 q0 already we discuss with one now zero is pending if we are in q0 and we make a transition for the zero to q1 state consider that then the strings ending with the zero means are susceptible why it is because we are in q0 state and we read first alphabet as a zero then we move to q1 we are in q1 state and we read the next alphabet as one then we transit from the q1 to qa and that qa is our acceptance state means the 0 1 is string is also acceptable if we are return this transition uh, likewise means q0 by 0 to 1 so for that what do we do so we have to make one provision we have to transit 0 in that state only means number of times a 0 occur then we have to looping in that state only means 2 times 0 3 times 0 the starting of that string is n means 2 times 0 3 times 0 we have to remains in that state only q0 okay so means we keep only in that q0 state now for the q0 0 as well as 1 more we are in q1 now q1 already one we tested remains in the 0 now likewise q0 if we are keeping 0 transit in that state only then what is the drawback if the string is likewise 101 we are in q0 we read 1 we move to q1 we read 0 in q1 we remains in the q1 state okay and reading after last symbol and we are in q1 is also acceptable here. so 101 is also not acceptable by our uh, automata because we have to only discuss with string ending 11 so what do we do now so for that purpose we have to move this 0 where we transit 0 here means we looping 0 in the q0 state that's why we have to move from that 0 to k1 here. likewise if we are moving uh, 0 from here is not we are moving 0 from this state to this state then what's also problem string ending with 10 is also acceptable yes or no string ending with 10 is acceptable so this uh, so uh, this solution is also not acceptable so only solution is acceptable is like so we have to move 0 from the q1 to q0 state okay <coughs> so for the q1 10 is also one. remains only qa part here so qa part also we have to discuss 0 as well as 1 so let me discuss for the 1 if 1 is there we have to move 1 as it is because 3 times 1 
is our string and that string is acceptable means 1 1 1 you have to own here 4 times you are all successful 5 times you are acceptable means first to one after reading we stays in final state after that any, any number of points is there going to remain in that state only because string should be end with only a double one state. that's why we move uh, we transit one in that state only so what about zero now so where we looping the zero in that we have to go back and make it easy here question is why it is here so why not in q1 let me check it if we move this q a to here only zero then what do we do <coughs> if the string is likewise means one one zero one so this string is ending with zero one so it is not acceptable but in these automatic is acceptable means one one zero one so this solution is also not acceptable means this is not Part. okay so now we have to check for each and every state either these two uh, uh, zero as well as we tested or not for q0 we tested q1 also tested q a also tested so now we have to test either the string is acceptable or not here so for that we will take one example as uh, 0 1 1 is a part of our string our uh, human kind of brain is easily understandable but how machine convention will be so we are in Q0, we read the first alphabet as a 0, we remain in that state because we make transition provision likewise. Now we are in Q0, we read 1, we transit from Q0 to Q1, okay. So we are in our Q1, we read the second one, we move from, uh, we transit from Q1 to QA, okay. Now we are in QA state and we read 1, last one, we remain in that state here, then this thing is accepted. Okay, so let check one zero one zero strings either acceptable or not. Our human brain is very understandable because one zero is not acceptable for so how it is machine? We are in Q0, we read first one, we move from Q0 to Q1, we are in Q1, we read zero, we back to Q0, we are in Q0, we read one, we move to Q1. Okay, we are now Q1 and we read last alphabet means fourth alphabet is zero, then we move from Q1 to Q0 means we are not in final state here after the ending of string. So this string is not acceptable. This, this design is only recognize the strings which are ending with one five. Getting that? So this is our transition diagram. What about transition table now? So the transition table is Q0, Q1 and QA as our state. We will put as a 0 as well as the 1. Okay. So we have to take Q0 as a state. We give as input as a 0. Then we remain in that state. Means this cell will be Q0. We are in Q0 and uh, take as input 1, then we move to the Q1 state. Now we are in Q1 state, we read 0, then we move Q0 state, means we read Q0. We are in Q1 state, we read 1, we move to QA state. Now we are in QA state, we read 0, then we from same Q0 state. We are in QA state, we read 1, we remove in the state and we the QA state. Okay, so this is our transition table and this is our transition tank for the second example. I hope you people are now clear the idea how we construct the regular language, regular expression and for the regular language and regular expression strings we have to design one kind of computation model and computation model we call as a final document type. So let me take one other example strings ending with one zero. Strings ending with one zero as usual we have to take epsilon part, epsilon part is nothing that our 0 as well as the 1 what about the regular language now? I hope you people are now understand string ending in what is the problem? string ending with 1 0 means first string is 1 0 for that starting is doesn't matter either 0, either 1 
or we call epsilon but the condition is that string ending with 0 here only so likewise string is our part of our language so what is the redundancy of format a regular language strings ending with 1 0 starting doesn't matter means either 0 or 1 remember thing that key comma sign also represent union star so what about its regular expression so regular expression is nothing but we have to replace these curly brackets by round 0 remains as it is replaced by this uh, comma by plus 1 as it is star also as it is and 1 0 this is our regular language this is our uh, sorry this is our regular expression this is our regular language now first take this thing that we have to design the kind of parameter which accept only the string ending with 1 0 let me start in q0 so for the q0 we have to discuss with this part means from the q0 uh, sorry from the q0 state we have to move further if there is one to the next state is nothing but the q1 state from the q1 state we have to move next state for only zero because one zero for first we have to check and this will be our QA state is nothing but the final state here. So now in our uh, design maximum we have to limit in our state is number of state is three states. Right? <coughs> so in that the Q0 is our starting state and QA is our final state, intermediate is Q1 state. So now we have to check for zeros uh, as well as the one. So for the Q0 already we tested as one. We have to check for the zero. Uh, if we are putting 0 uh, from q0 to q1 then it is also problematic why it is because the string ending with 0 0, zero, zero is also acceptable so this problem uh, this solution is not workable so we have to transit 0 in that state uh, in that state only it is a 0 okay for the q0 we also discuss uh, 0 1 in the q1 already 0 we tested what about 1 if the string is like 1 means 1 1 0 so this 1 1 0 is also acceptable because 1 0 is our ending part here so 1 either starting 1 or 0 is not our part but ending with 1 0 now means we are in q0 case we read 1 then we move to q1 we have to read another character as a sorry alphabet as a 1 so for that we have to transit that one in that state only q1 then 0 is remains in q state okay for q1 also we discuss about one as well as the chair so now we have to discuss about qa part here so for the qa part we transit this one is here only then what is the drawback one zero one string is also acceptable it is not a permittable solution so this is not permittable solution so what do we do in state where we transit our looping one that state we have to pass one so what about zero if we are putting zero is here only then it is also not workable because one zero zero is string also acceptable this is also not workable so where we have to uh, put the zero in the state where we transit zero loopingly in that state we have to put as it zero okay so this is our transition diagram because we are not getting not getting any extra state uh, <coughs> so this is our final design of our final limiter which will be recognized the string ending with one k okay so this is our final design qualities in that q0 q1 and qa these are the three states okay so we have to uh, check for q0 0 0 1 0 q1 1 0 0 qa 1 0 that's here so let me test by one or two strings let me start with 1 1 0 we are in q0 state we read first alphabet as 1 we transit from q0 to q1 because there is a full we already made the provision we are in q1 state we read second alphabet as 1 we remain in that state only q1 
Now we read the third alphabet, then 0, and we are in Q1, then provision from Q1 to QA state for the 0. After the ending of these strings, we are in last state, that's why this string is accepted. Let me check 101 string is acceptable or not. We are in Q0 state, we read the first alphabet 1, we move from zero, Q0 to Q1. We read second alphabet as a 0, we move from Q1 to QA. Now we are in QA state and we read 1, then we move from QA to Q1. After the ending this string, we are in Q1 state, not in QA state. That's why we call this not recognized by our this design, which is our correct solution. So this is our transition diagram. What about transition table now? This is a Q0, this is a Q1, this is a QA. This is the part of our state. Here is a zero. Here is a one. A physical or no? I mean, about that. So Q zero, and we have to give a zero again. Put it in this end. Q zero state. We are in Q zero state. We use input as in one Q one state. We are in Q one state, and our input is zero. Then we have to move Q A. We are in Q one state. We use one. We remain in that state only. We are in Q1, we read 0, we go to Q0, QA state, we read 1, we go to Q1 state. So this is our transition table and this is our transition diagram. Okay, so this is our uh, solution for third sum. We call the uh, strings ending with okay, string ending with 1 and 0. Now we discuss about fourth example string ending BB. So now we have to change now our uh, set of input alphabets. Till we discuss about the 0 by 0 one. Now in this example we replace that 0 1 by AB. That means our epsilon A e now A comma B. All are in the same. So secret state, what is the regular language of our given uh, statement? String ending with Problem should be the string ending in BB. Means each and every string ends with BB starting doesn't matter either A or B or epsilon part. Okay, so simplified version of our uh, regular language is that starting is either A start or B or its combinations means. Means either A, either B, or a star, but ending should be B, B. So, what about regular expression? Regular expression is likewise, we have to replace this curly bracket by round parenthesis A plus B star as it is and B, B. So this is our regular expression, this is our regular language. Simply, in the absence of zeros and 1, we are selecting here uh, input alphabets as A, B. Now we have to discuss how we design the transition diagram for the string ending with B, B. Simple way, we have to start in Q0 state. Now we have to check A as well as B. So our ending part is B, B means at least one B, B is there then it is acceptable means for the single B we have to transit from Q0 to Q1 state it is our intermediate state for the Q1 we have to read as it B then we move to other state and that other state is nothing but our final state so set of states is a 3 in our uh, final totality first is Q0 starting state and QB is our final state okay so <coughs> for the Q0 we tested already B remains as a so likewise we have to move a here is only because if we putting a transition here then a b ending is also acceptable so that's why i'm looking a here only we are in q1 already we discussed about the b remains uh, problem for the a if we are moving a here then b a b will be acceptable this is also not possible solution if a here is then b a also acceptable is not also possible so that's why we are moving here is only where is the looping is there. 
so q1 a b also tested now for the qa we have to test either a as well as the b means for a as well as b so if b is there nothing problem 3 times b 4 times b 5 times b 6 times b is also acceptable what about a so we have to know a where we will make you looking for the a okay so for the q0 a b tested for the q1 a b tested for q a also a b tested no new state we got so that's why it is our solution for string is ending with bb string okay so let me check either uh, this is correct or not so for that we selected the first string as bb we are in q0 state reading first alphabet we move from q0 to q1 we are in q1 state we have to read the second alphabet as b then we transit from q1 to qa after the ending of this string we are present in qa state that's uh, we are in QA state means in accepting state that's why we we'll call it BB is a part of our regular language what about AB? we are in Q0 state we read the first alphabet A we remain in that state only Q0 now we are in Q0 state the next input alphabet is B we read that B we transit from Q0 to Q1 here. now we are Q1 in Q1 state and we'll read as a B symbol then we move from Q1 to Q0 state after the ending of this string, we are in QA state, means final state, means this string is also acceptable, means recognized. So consider there is a string as ABA. So AB is acceptable or not? So our human brain sees it and it is not acceptable. But how it is machine? We are in Q0 state, we read the first alphabet, we remain in that state only. Now we are in Q0 state, we read the second alphabet, B, we transit from Q0 to Q1. Now we are in Q1 state, we read the last alphabet as A, then the transition is likewise, we have to move Q0 state. So after the reading, we are in Q0 state, and string is over, means we are not in QA state, we are in other than the QA state, means other than acceptance state, that's why we call this string is not recognized by the given finite alternative. Okay, so what about this transition table now? The transition table is simply in Q0, Q1, and QA. So these are the state. And these are the input alphabet AB. So we are in Q0 state, and we read as A, then we remain in that state only Q0. We are in Q0 state, we read B, we move to Q1 state. We are in Q1 state. We read A, then we shift back to Q0 state. We are in Q1 state, we read B, we move to Q state. We are in Q state, we read A, then we move Q0 state. We are in Q state, we read B, we move and we remain in that state here in Q. Okay. This is our transition table, this is our transition diagram for the finite automata means this is our uh, proper answer for the recognizing the strings ending with bb so this is our fourth example and i hope you people are getting no idea about how we construct the finite automata of the given problem statement here in the exam question we will be asked like uh, find out uh, find out rec uh, recognize or we call to design the finite automata of the following statement the statement is likewise plain statement string ending in win, string ending with one one, string ending with likewise the plain statement is there or we call key they are also giving a regular language or regular expression and according to that we have to also find out the uh, final automata part here ok so the last example is nothing but string ending with b a b so i hope you people are take for the exercise purpose here and try to find out the solution for the string ending with b a b i hope you people uh, find the solutions properly if not you people got the solution then contact me we will solve this accordingly but you have to try that because the question is asking in your exam purpose yes. definitely question will be asked construct the final alternative for the given string or we call the given regular language or given regular expression okay so you have to try the find out the final alternative you have to design 
final argument of the string ending with b in b okay so today's session is you thank you thank you so much